to, to invite us to this and, and to be able to come and you know spend New Year's for the first time ever outside of Puerto Rico it's, it's truly special and you know to see the magnitude of this it's, it's even greater. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. Enrique Hernandez's most outstanding moment on the field this past season was probably belting three homers for the Dodgers in their pennant clinching game. But on New Year's Day, Hernandez made a much more important impact off the field, riding on the City of Hope float in Monday's Tournament of Roses Parade to raise awareness for cancer research. Hernandez was accompanied by two very notable cancer survivors, his father Enrique Sr. and former Dodgers GM Fred Clare. It's an incredible experience to be able to call attention to the City of Hope and Dr. Foreman and seeing Kiki and watching him on television. I'm very happy to uh, be on the same float as Kiki and have that uh, Dodger representation along with so many other fine people. It's now 2018 and there are still some big time free agents that remain unsigned. It should make the rest of the offseason pretty entertaining as everyone waits to see where featured free agents Hugh Darvish, J.D. Martinez and Eric Hosmer among others end up for 2018. MLB.com columnist Anthony Kasturbin says buckle up for what could be a surprisingly exciting January. You could conceivably have a Garrett Cole trade, a Chris Archer trade, a Manny Machado trade, uh, Jake Marietta, you Darvish finding a home, J.D. Martinez finding a home. Uh, a lot of heavy lifting uh, really has to take place. It's kind of fascinating. It's kind of fun because it just kind of extends these conversations into what used to be a really dead month in baseball, the month of January and the early part of February. It was quite a scene New Year's Day in frigid New York as the home of the Mets, City Field, was transformed into a hockey arena. This year's Winter Classic featured appropriately two New York teams as the Buffalo Sabres took on the New York Rangers. The fans braved the cold elements to watch an entertaining game as the Rangers got a goal from J.T. Miller in overtime to defeat the Sabres 3-2. For more on these stories and complete hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.